Yes. Do some preaching, brother. Who want to share? Yes. Hallelujah. How is everybody feeling today? In Pedro Beach, what's going on? God bless you. God bless. You know, it's nice to be out here hanging out with you guys again today. You know, we're out here jamming a little bit of Christian reggae music. And, uh, you know, we've been out here uh, inviting you. We want to remind you that we are from a few local churches here in the community. And we'd like to invite you to come to church. If you guys are looking for a good Bible preaching, Bible believing, gospel preaching church, with good family ministries for you and your family. We'd like to invite you to church. Come and talk to us. Please do not be shy. We'd like to invite you to church. We are also offering prayer. If you need prayer in your life, if you have spiritual needs, uh, maybe you need prayer for yourself or for your family or for someone sick. We are also praying for the sick. If you, uh, if you have health problems, did you guys know that God truly truly does heal. Did you know that God's healing ministry did not end 2,000 years ago? God can heal you. If it is His will in your life for you to be healed, healed, He can heal you. You know, sometimes, you know, it, you know, it doesn't hurt to try to ask God for healing. And we want to encourage you to, um, to get connected with God. You know, a lot of people, maybe even most people, in the world, you know, especially nowadays, a lot of people do not even believe in God. A lot of people do not even believe in God or has lost, have maybe has lost their faith. But we want to encourage you to keep an open mind and open ears and an open heart to hear God's message because we did not come here today to only to, uh, you know, to jam and share some music with you, but we also are here today to share with you a very important message that everyone must hear in their lifetime. And it's the message of the gospel that we want to share with you because even the Bible itself says that how will anyone know about having faith or about the message of God? How will anyone even know if no one ever goes out and just tells them? So that is exactly what we're doing out here today. We are out here to share the gospel and the good news of Jesus Christ with you today. So please uh, let God touch your heart today on this nice afternoon. Let God touch your heart today. Let God soften your heart. Let God open up your ears and your eyes. Because we want to share the message of love of God with you today. And the message of God of Jesus Christ is simple, actually. You know, one of the main one of the main concerns of most people is, you know, insurance. You know, in life, you know, we have to have car insurance, sometimes rental insurance, property insurance, life insurance. But my question to you today in Pirtle Beach is, do you have soul insurance? Yes, did you hear that? Do you have soul insurance? And if you do not have soul insurance yet, you might be wondering, you know, where can I get that? Where can we get soul insurance from? You know, that is a good question. Because it's even against the law, of course, to maybe drive around without car insurance, for example. What happens if you are caught without life insurance? What would happen? You'd probably get a ticket, right? It's against the law to drive around, to drive your car without car insurance, correct? And at one point in time, you know, they made it a law. Before it never was a law, but now it's a law. You know? But what about soul insurance now? What about soul insurance? I mean, is there, is there a, I mean, where do I sign up, right? I mean, is there a company? Is there a company that's offering, is there a AAA company or a, or a, a Geico? Is, do they have a Geico section that's also offering soul insurance? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think Geico or Liberty or uh, whatever, whatever those companies are out, out nowadays, 
I don't think Geico is offering soul insurance anytime soon. And probably the main reason why there's no companies out in our community offering soul insurance, let me tell you exactly why no one is offering soul insurance. Because first of all, there is no man in the history of the world or in the history of mankind that can even provide to you soul insurance. There is no man, no human being in the world that can actually provide to you insurance for your soul for when your time comes in your life because all of us are going to be there one day. All of us are going to be there one day and we're going to have to confront, you know, our maker, our creator. That's if you believe in creation, right? That's if you believe in creationism, right? That we came from a creator, that we were made by a creator, which is uh, what us Christians believe, you know, which is people of the faith believe. And maybe you just happen not to not to know about God, or maybe you just happen not to believe out of choice, maybe, or out of out of tradition, out of circumstance, out of science, maybe you. Maybe you just happen not to believe in God, and so if that is so, if that is your case, I'm glad you uh, you are listening to this message right now. If you are out there, uh, uh, even though it might not seem like it, if you are listening to this message right now, I'm glad you're listening, whoever you are. But let me continue with this message about soul insurance. Where can we get soul insurance? Where do they sell it? Sign me up, because if there's really some soul insurance out there, because I have car insurance, you know, I'm thinking about getting rent, rent, renter's insurance. And, you know, I, I need life insurance. I don't have that. So I have car insurance. I have, you know, I'm missing some of these couple of other insurances. But you know what insurance, what insurance I do have is soul insurance. And let me tell you how I got it. Like I mentioned before, there's no man in the history of mankind or in the history of the world that can actually provide to you even if they were try, even if they even tried to sell it to you, no one on this earth can give you or provide to you soul insurance. Because there's only one person in the world, in history, in the whole universe, that can provide to you soul insurance, and that is God. God is the only one that can provide to you soul insurance which means salvation for your soul, which means the security that you can have of eternal life to continue living even after you, you leave this earth. Because we are all going to grow old sometime at, at some point in our life. We are all, you know, on the road to getting older, you know. Maybe you are a, a senior cit a citizen already. And you know, when you get older, as you get older, you know, you start thinking differently, right? Compared to when you were young. You know, we start thinking about, you know, what happens next? You know, maybe you had a, success, a successful life. Maybe you never had any addictions in your whole lifetime or any problems at all. But still something can be missing. Maybe you did it all in life. Maybe you are a business owner. Maybe you own a company. Maybe you are a doctor, a lawyer. An astronaut, a rocket scientist, I don't know. Maybe you you feel like you've accomplished all you needed to accomplish in life. And maybe you, like many other people in the world, are feeling right now like something is missing. So what's next? So you did this, you did that. So what is next? The Bible says that Jesus Christ said that what does it do a man any good if he conquers the whole world but lose his soul what good does it do any man or person to conquer the whole world but to lose their soul you see we are all going to be there one day so we have to confront this at some point in our life now back to the soul insurance thing you know, there is a way to get soul insurance, and like I said before, only God can provide that for you. But the thing is that God has also provided a certain and particular way 
that you can get salvation for your soul. That you can get your soul saved. For when your time comes, you can be ready. You can be set. Like, for example, right now, if you were to get pulled over by a police officer, and the, one of the first things that the police officer is going to check and ask you about, he's going to say, can I see your driver's license, and I, can I see your car insurance? And if you already have car insurance, you're going to be ready to go, and you're going to be, you're going to say in your mind, you know, I'm set. I don't have a problem with this. And you're going to be able to reach into your glove compartment and break out your proof, proof of insurance, and show it to the officer and the officer is going to say all right let me see this guy's proof proof of car insurance and the officer is going to say all right this guy he's good to go but did you guys know that one day there is going to be a judgment day where we are all going to have to confront our maker and he's going to be like that police officer checking your insurance and the bible says in the book of revelations that there is a book of life there is a book of life that the Lord is going to open up one day. And the Bible says that everyone's name who is on there, the Lord is going to check to see whose name is on this book of life. And the Bible says in the book of Revelation, whose ever name was found on the book of life, that they had their entrance into the kingdom of heaven, which is eternal life which is a loving, eternal relationship with our Creator, our loving Father in heaven. And that is the message of God for you today, Imperial Beast, that we want to share with you today, that there is a way that you can have the assurance of your salvation. Unlike many other uh, so-called Christian organizations, without mentioning any names, you know, there's a lot of uh, supposed Christian organizations out there in the world that do not believe that you can have the assurance of your salvation. Because a lot of people believe that you have to work for your salvation. A lot of people believe that you have to try and be good enough to go to heaven. That you have to try and behave holy enough, as hard as you can, to get into heaven. But did you guys know that that actually isn't true according to the Holy Scriptures? Because what the, what the scriptures actually teach is this, that salvation from God for your soul is actually a loving, free gift from God. Salvation for your soul is a loving and true and free gift that God is offering you today. And it's open for anyone who wants to believe, who chooses to believe and chooses to accept that awesome and loving gift from God. Jesus. So my question to you in Pearl Beach today is this. Are you ready to receive the free gift of God of salvation in your life today, in this time, on this day, in this hour? In Pearl Beach, are you ready? Are you ready to be saved today? Now, I'm not saying that I can save you. I'm not saying that my brothers here on this on this evangelism team can save you. We don't have that power because we are just messengers out here today to share with you. Our job is to just come and share with you this message, hoping that you listen and that you let God touch your heart and that you let God bless your life and help you. Because no matter who you are, no matter what you've been through in life, no matter where you, whether you are rich, whether you are poor, no matter what color you are, whether you are white, brown, black, it doesn't matter what your background is. Salvation for your soul, which is a free gift of God, is for everyone. It's for all of us. It's for everyone that needs it. Now, if you've already been saved before, you're set, you're good to go. We'll see you in heaven and we'll hang out. But let me tell you right now, if you have not made that, that important decision in your life yet to receive the free gift of God of salvation in your life yet, you have an opportunity right now to do so. We happen to be from a few local churches here in the community, and we would like to help you out. If you would like more information on how you can receive the free gift of salvation Praise for your the soul, name of Jesus. We come and hang out with us. Come and talk to us. Speak some of the Asian uh, people there.